Do you struggle with color palettes? I know I do. You know, you envision mixing all these colors and what it's going to look like on the canvas and then you blow it all out. <laughs> Yuck. I don't love all of those colors together. Well, last week I did a practice run. This is the picture. I didn't love it, but I tweaked the colors. And this right here is the result of me tweaking those colors and I absolutely love this color palette. If you're curious to know, meet me down on the canvas and I'll show you what I did. And by the way, my name is Tiffany Remine and welcome to my channel. Does anybody else love the feel of a canvas underneath your fingertips? I don't know, I do for whatever reason. Just gonna wipe the dust off here because I got dust. Okay, so this is the uh, titanium white uh, mixed though with just a teaspoon of the oxide black uh, on the test piece if you recall in case you missed it the link is down below to that video um, it was too dark it was like a dark gray when it dried almost like concrete and I hated it and this is the black oxide same mixture that I used the previous again all my paints are just mixed with water uh, this one here is the mixture of the pearl iridescent pearl and the titanium white so again this color I did not change I love this color um, let's see this one this one is the Prussian blue phalo blue phalo green with that uh, iridescent medium by Windsor Newton I love this color it's like my new fave and let's see which one. This one here is what I call champagne. It's my own mixture. It is a light gold uh, metallic mixed with the uh, Van Dyke brown. So, but again, I, I love that color too, believe it or not. This one looks horrible, <laughs> but I love this color in the painting. So it's just a uh, yellow okra. Is it okra, ochre? I don't know, but yellow uh, mixed with the light and gold metallic. Uh, by Amsterdam Acrylics. This one is the color that I changed up. From the previous one, if you remember, I didn't like the way the blue kind of just took over. So this one here is the phalo blue mixed with like the permanent red violet, believe it or not. I don't know, like looks like, a, like an indigo color. And this one is just the regular uh, light gold metallic uh, by Amsterdam Acrylics. As always, that's the paint that I use. I'm just gonna move all these things out of the way because I don't know about you, but I have banged on the sticks and knocked the paint all over my table in previous pours and that's really annoying when you've spent the last you know three hours mixing all these paints getting ready to dump them on the canvas so uh just like the last one i'm just gonna stir this up real quick and oh, it's heavy i'm going to pour this at the top of the canvas so again i'm gonna use the same kind of philosophy as the previous pour the sample piece that i did and I'm gonna put the gray up on the top of the canvas. Now I'm just gonna grab my blow dryer and blow out that base coat. I use the blow dryer a lot for the base coat. I just find it just levels it so much nicer on the canvas than trying to use that spatula thing because I'm not so great at using the spatula thing, let's be honest. I, just, I, I tend to scrape the canvas and I don't know, it's just a disaster. I'm just gonna tilt some of that extra paint off. I'm gonna find out though that I didn't tilt off enough of that paint but you know what it is what it is I will learn my lessons sooner or later sooner though would be my <laughs> be my preference uh, now I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna lay down the the black uh, along the bottom and then blow it out just like I did all on the top because that's how I roll and then I'm just gonna kind of spread this stuff around trying to I don't know form the line that I wanted to make I forgot when I laid down the black the the shape that I wanted to lay my paints in I I don't know how I forget stuff like that but I do I've got this vision in my mind of what I'm gonna do and then I laid the paint on the canvas and went uh oh uh, so now I'm just gonna start laying my paints along that line so I'm gonna start out with the my new fave that phalo blue phalo green and Prussian blue and then my champagne color which is just that gold metallic mixed with the Van Dyke brown and then my next color is going to be that new indigo blue, let's call it that, which is my phalo blue mixed with a red violet. And now a little more of that just light gold. And then the, is it okra, ochre, I don't know, yellow ochre mixed with the light and dark gold. And now I'm going to go back in with a little bit more of that Prussian blue, phalo blue, phalo green along the line. Because I didn't want, if you recall, a lot of white mixed in with the black. Then a little bit more champagne because I like the metallics. And then I'm going to sprinkle in some of the, um, what is that, pearl iridescent white with titanium white. 
and then a little bit more of the gold metallic and I'm just going to grab my torch torch out some air bubbles we're gonna find out though <laughs> it dries and I didn't torch it enough I got some tiny little pinholes but such is life and I'm just gonna lay my black uh, puddle what do you call that anyway and then a little bit more of the gray as I do my blow over because that's how I do my Dutch pours as I do the rinse Kadana method I blow the paint over top of the colors and now you're gonna see my hand gestures of me explaining that I've got way too much paint on the canvas but I love this composition so now what am I gonna do my husband even came over and told me to leave the hell alone <laughs> explaining that I couldn't so I mean life goes on I'm gonna have to ruin this composition a little bit to get all that bloody paint off the canvas so regardless you're gonna watch me do that before I turn up the music, I'm going to channel my inner, my inner Kathleen Osmore. I'm nowhere near as talented as her when it comes to swiping extra paint off the canvas or swiping in general. But you know what? I'm going to give it a shot because I don't want to ruin this entire process by having all this extra paint because I know what's going to happen when it attempts to dry. Okay, I'm going to just shut up now. <laughs> stop talking turn up the music if you've liked my content so far please hit that like and subscribe turn on your notifications so that when you know i post a new uh video for you to watch stay tuned to the end i'll show you the dry result there'll be some fun outtakes of me trying to record my intro so i'm hoping you'll stay tuned in for that uh, and then hopefully uh, my next video, I'm actually going to reuse these colors and I'm going to try a different technique. I don't know yet if it's going to be a ring pour or what it's going to be. But uh, so again, reminder, turn on those notifications so that you know when I post it. Anyway, ciao for now. Does you know below? Does you know that you're a little crazy? Like I once learned All the things you did but never showed me Who you truly were Sure, I figured out that I never ever really got you. It was in my head. Now my pretty little word is turned up. Need a higher ground. I don't ever ever wanna look down. So smile for me while I stop before you soon freak out. So if you still. And I got big gas glare in my glasses tonight. What if I gotta sit? What am I doing? Why doesn't this just slide in? It does just slide in. Just... Oh, I was gonna get a chair. Oh. Ah! Hmm. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh.